Hey guys, and welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. Right now, in this part, we're gonna go say Knuckle. And let's do this. Okay, of course. You can feel kind of like this. Kanji. And Yuki. Do this. I'm gonna save him. I've been calling not to go. <laughs> ah, it's about time you arrived. Dealing with this child has been quite a pain. No! No, no, don't go! It's useless speaking with you. I need to go back now. Why? Why are you leaving me here? Why am I always left alone? It's so lonely. I don't want to be alone. Nautokun. You wear the same face as me. It's as if you're implying we're one and the same. Oh, God. But the difference between me and you is... Why delude yourself? I am you. Oh my god, her shell's badass. Look at it, that creepy looking what like Teddy and Reese were. These childish gestures are no mere affectation. They're the truth. The fools all say it, don't they? You're only a child. Keep out of our business, kid, and so forth. No matter how many cases you spend hours cogitating over, no matter how many crimes you solve, you're a child in their eyes. It's your brain they're interested in. The gray matter locked up in that skull. As long as they need it, you're an ace detective. But once you're done, it's back to the playpen with you. You haven't the means to deal with society's two-faced nature. You're just a lonely child. Naoto. I want to be a grown-up. I want to be a big boy right now. Then they'll see who I am. I... I want a reason for me to stay. That's enough. I can find my own reason for living. Ha! <laughs> I'm telling you that's impossible. You are but a child. How can you change that essential truth? Stop it! At your core, you admire the sort of strong and cool men who populate detective fiction. But in trying to emulate them, you must know that in truth, you're nothing of the sort. You're a child. She probably gets sick of that. Stop calling me a child, damn it. There's no avoiding first principles. Admit that you're a child, and admit that there's nothing you can do about it. Now then, our analysis is complete. Let us begin the body alteration process. You have no objections, do you? Naoto Shiragane. Stop it! Naoto. Such a cool, manly name. But a name doesn't change the truth. It doesn't let you cross the barrier between the sexes. Yep, yep, yep. It wasn't that hard. Her voice seems mimily. How could you become an ideal man when you were never male to begin with? Wait, what? Did he... Did I hear that right? He's not a guy? You should be happy, Kanji. <laughs> I won't throw a tantrum. That accomplishes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> How often I've heard those words from the adults. Throwing a tantrum won't solve anything, now, Tokun, and other such bilge. They made you cry, didn't they? Yet here you are, mimicking those same men. What exactly are you trying to justify? What? It's all right. You needn't suffer anymore. That's why you're undergoing this body alteration procedure to begin with. 
You throw a tantrum, but it fails to change the situation a single bit. I can quite understand the feeling. After all, I am you. That's not true! Don't say it! It's okay. Let the kids spill the whole thing. If not, Naoto's just gonna keep hurting. We'll just do our job and kick the Shadow's ass, yeah? <laughs> As if you know anything about me! You'll kick my ass, huh? Fine, go ahead and try, you lizard-brained imbecile! Save the discussion for later! Here it comes! Ooh, a robot this time. That was cool. Oh, oh, what does it look like? Oh, oh, what is it? Who got that? I am a shadow, the true self. Dang it. What does it look like? What? Are you sick of yourselves too? Very well. Then let's begin the special operation. Bring it on, man! I'll pull you through this! Have you made up your mind? Then let us commence! No! Persona! Doesn't roll with his model after him. It's familiar. Here goes! Persona! That will never do. Patience must lie still for me to drill proper holes into them. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, hold on. What other persona? Um, what is the sound of hell? Oh, 
Easy. So much. You're one struggling, man. <laughs> oh, screw you, dude. Kanji. 
Crazy and dead. All right, Senpai. Oh, did I level up? So now Taokun was a girl. No shit. I, I, the voice alone already said so. <sighs> Are you awake? Where am I? I remember you all arriving, and... That's right. You saw everything. <laughs> I lost both my parents in an accident. I was still young, so my grandfather took me in. I was inept at making friends, so I spent my time reading detective novels in my grandfather's study. When I grow up, I'm gonna be an awesome, hard-boiled detective. My parents were proud of their job. I had no qualms about following in their footsteps. An inherited occupation can feel stifling to many, but I welcomed it. I yearned for the day I could be a detective myself. Perhaps I inherited that desire from them as well. I was always alone. Seeing that, my grandfather must have believed it was his duty to help me realize my dream. I secretly aided my grandfather with his clients, and before I knew it, people started calling me Junior Detective. At first I was delighted, but not everything went so smoothly. What was that you said about you're only a child? Not everyone welcomes my collaboration when it comes to solving cases. My status as a child was sufficient to offend many of those whom I worked with. Were that the only issue, then it would have resolved itself with time. But though I will one day change from a child to an adult, I will never change from a woman to a man. Do you not like being a girl? Is that why you always dress like a boy? My sex doesn't fit my ideal image of a detective. Besides, the police department is a male-oriented society. If they had the slightest concrete reason to look down on me, no one would need me anymore. You don't know that. Hey, you must know already that what you yearn for isn't to become an adult or become a boy. <sighs> You're absolutely right. Sorry, I kept ignoring you, pretending you didn't exist. But you are me, and I am you. You've always been inside me. What I should yearn for, no, what I must strive for, isn't to become a man. It's to accept myself for who I really am. He like bingo. <laughs> Damn, this is the tiniest one. <laughs> oh, it looks cool though. Look like an emperor, a fairy with a cape, with a long sword. In any event, you're a devious bunch. I can't believe you kept something like this hidden for so long. <laughs> no wonder the perpetrator has eluded the police. But it's apparent now. This case is far from over. That's right. And you proved it now, Tal. Anyways, we can talk more later. We need to get you out of here. You know, when people faint like that, you're supposed to be crowding around them. Hey. Let them breathe. Hey! Sheesh. She really put her life on the line for this. But without her efforts, we'd never have realized that the culprit is still at large. You're too freaking reckless, damn it. I never doubted that you'd all come for me. Although the reality turned out to be far beyond what I'd imagined. 
What a dumbass. You're no genius at all. We were tearing our hair out over you. <laughs> so you did worry about her, Kanji. Oh. Shut up. Mind your own damn business. I'll take her home. I don't think she can go back by herself. It's all right. I can... No way, Missy. Don't think that doing everything on your own is the adult thing to do. Come on, let's go. Grab on. Hey, get your ass in here. Hey, trophy. Hey! Welcome back. What? <laughs> Sorry, we got off early today. Come on, take a seat. Oh, they come over there like, okay. They found Naoto kun. Oh, uh, do you know who Naoto kun is? He just up and vanished without a word. But it looks like he's back now. Way to put a scare into everyone. Heesh. I'm relieved. Hmm. You don't seem surprised. You didn't already know he was found, did you? Ah, <laughs> uh, you really ought to do something about that habit of yours, Dojima-san. They go to the same school. Rumors spread fast out here, you know? But man, why'd Naoto-kun disappear? Uh -oh. I guess he can be a little difficult. Maybe he got sulky after being given the boot and ran away from home. But I tell you, I was shocked to hear that he up and vanished like that. If there'd been a fourth kidnapping and murder, we'd be back to square one again. Adachi... You know what sucks? We still don't have proof that the Kubo kid murdered anyone besides Mr. Moraoka. How are we gonna make a case like this? I wonder if Dojima-san's instinct is right. Maybe there really is another perp out there. The real one. Adachi, how many times I gotta say it? Quit running your mouth like that! <laughs> well, <laughs> sorry. Oh, he's so innocent. All right, see here. Don't worry about the case. Just go study like a normal student. If you don't... <sighs> I'm going to bed. Yeah. <laughs> you not good to you stuck. I said, are you fighting again? <laughs> Sorry, I killed the mood there. But yeah, I can totally understand why Dojima-san's worried. Just leave the case to us police. You know the problems it could cause if something happened, right? Like, if it happened you were mixed up in it. We'd be real worried. Are more scary things gonna happen? No way, Nanako-chan. Everything's alright now. We caught the bad man. So no more scary things will happen, right? Everything's just fine. Okay. Anyways, your dad's just a worry ward. Leave it to me. You might not know to look at me, but I got the most brains in the whole police department. Oh, was that too hard to understand? Did you get it? Well, now that Dojima-san's gone, I should get going too. Good night. What does got brains mean? Maybe smart. <laughs> huh. So things will be all right? Go on for more. Oh, Senpai. Gee. This win. I just brought a new umbrella and it's already broken. But I guess there was a silver lining. 
Hey, Senpai, if you don't huddle, if you don't huddle in a little closer, your shoulder would get wet. I'm sexier when I'm soaked. <laughs> huh? Whoa, I can't believe you actually said that. Maybe you shouldn't say things like that in front of other people. I think it might creep them out, but I'm hot. Hello there. Okay, my as well go to the movies then. Okay, Rise Arkanji, Rise Arkanji. Kanji, come on, we're going to see a scary movie. Oh, what's up? Okay, see ya. Poor him, I'm not 16 yet. Thanks for waiting. Huh? They need to bring up a little bit. Time to do it for Nautical join, but welcome we'll back. Hello there, Nautical. You can talk. Let's get these vegetables out first.
do your wow jam. Hey, at least you do your wow jam, dude. Oh, that was the easiest one. I didn't even look at. I didn't even look at the answer sheet. Welcome back. They seem to be coming along. After we get done with Nada, now they're going to ask about stuff in that place. Okay, Kanji, time to yeah. talk. Yeah! Alright. Can't get this place out of my head. I keep wondering if that rabbit, the rabbit is kid tossed out out of watch up the sore around here. If he finds it now, he just feels bad. Nothing I'm wearing in today or anything. Hey, mister! 
There you are. Five Chan was really happy. I've been looking for you ever since. Look, kid, quit, quit calling me. Ah, uh, forget it. Can you, can you make some more, mister? My mom really wants one. Five Chan's mom does too. They say they'll pay you. Huh? Pay me? I don't need that. It ain't like I'm a pro at this. My mom wants a cat, and Sana Chan's mom wants a dog. And my teacher wants a pink alligator. A pink alligator? Oh, like the one in that storybook, huh? Well, fine, then I'll get around to do it sometime. Yay, thank you! Remember, you promised. <sighs> Strange situation I got myself into, ain't it? Good for you. Good. I don't really know. When I was in elementary school, I fixed a classmate's bag this one time. Thinking back, I guess I liked her. I only did it to make her happy, but the next day all the girls were making fun of her. She cried. I didn't understand why, but you know, I thought I'd done something wrong. So I never thought I'd be thanked for doing this stuff. <laughs> It feels good <laughs> hearing thank you. I like it. Oh, it good, doesn't it, go to the station to a uh, fabric shop. I'm out of material, so later. <laughs> Bye, Kanji. You're back. Hey, what's up? Hmm? Standings up. I can talk to you, dude. The newspaper article. Oh, yeah, I found it. Were you worried about it? It's about my wife when she was killed by a hidden run. I told you before, right? About the case where we never had a suspect. Get it now? There's nothing more I can say about it in this house. Let's stop there. <sighs> you win. She, Nanako's mo mother was ran over on her way to pick up Nanako from nursery school. It was a cold day and there were no witnesses, so they didn't find her until much later. Until they got word to until they got word to me, Nanako was waiting all that time at the nursery all alone, waiting for her mother who would never come. I couldn't tell Nanako that her mother was killed. That her father, whose job is to catch criminals, couldn't find a single lead. But I haven't given up. I will catch that guy. I don't need a private life to do that. Nanako will understand. Hold on! Okay. Is this what she wants? Mm -hmm. Even if she, it's not what she wants now, she'll understand someday. I have to tell myself that. Sorry. Rio. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>
don't know who wants to talk to me. Oh, Rife. Oh, Senpai. Special orders. Count with me next time when I pick them up. I had tons of fun today. Not many people tried to come up and talk. Maybe they already forgot who I am. Oh yeah, want some tofu to take home? I helped make them today. Right here. Wait right here. Excuse me, real son, is it? I'm sorry about the other day. I am his former manager. I mean, her former manager. I'm sorry to bother you, but can you give this to her? Why so interested in her? I want her for fans myself. Her talent is... Rita always look forward to this girl's letters, so I... And today's call of personality being properly carries his own problems. The schedule fits together minute by minute, like a jostle card. Every day your squeeze your squeeze out to read dry. But even knowing that, I still want her to come back. She was she was brilliant. Not only that, but she's strong but she's strong enough to use her pain as from a function. From what I can see, she's relying on you. So could you Sorry, Senpai, but we're all sold out. Quit pestering me. Wait, what did you say to Senpai? I'm sorry, I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Gee, calling me even after I quit. He's practically a stalker. To think I trusted him, I feel betrayed. He's worried about you. No. He just wants Rosette's back. To me, he created you. So, what did he come for? Oh! This letter. She wrote again. I see, but he came all the way out of here for this. This girl is a middle school student. She writes to me all the time. I did this public service campaign once to stomp out bullying. She said it expired her. She wrote down she wouldn't let bullies get her down. That she'll try to make friends. Ever since then, she wrote me letters. This happened to me today. I was able to say this, stuff like that. Seeing Rosette work hard encouraged me. It makes me feel like I can still hang in there. <laughs> she doesn't really know how it works, huh? But still, every time I read her letters, I felt like Rosette actually meant something. So whenever things got tough, I will read them over and over. Senpai, do you still have some free time? Hmm. She's worried about me. Personally, I'm taking a break due to illness, so... Before I quit, there was talk about a party in a movie. She sounds like she was really looking forward to it. Please get well soon and come back, she said. I'm so glad you were here. I was scared to read it alone. I gave up on being Rosette. I can't meet her expectations. Having second thoughts? I have no regrets. I have no regrets, I'm sorry. At least, I think not. I mean, it was such a relief to quit, to go back to being the real me. Anyway, Rosette doesn't exist anymore. It's not just 
this girl. I'm disappointed in a lot of other people. The president of the company told me that over and over, and I knew already. I knew this was the path I chose, but... <laughs> May I just inter inherit the tofu shop? I'm the shop's main attraction now. I bet I could make it thrive. Senpai. Maybe we, you, we should really just do it. You know, what I was saying around that. You can marry me once we graduate high school and the two of us can work at the tofu shop together. Doesn't that sound fun? How about it? Why you're so cute. You're too honest, though. Well, I already knew that you're not interested in me. Thank you, Senpai, for being with me all over today. I feel a bit better. Yeah, I'm fine. And it looks like there are still plenty of things only I can do. Hey, she doesn't want to go back to it. She don't have to go back to it. for dragging you around all day. I'll let you go now. I'll see you later, senpai. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop here for today. Next, we're probably going to talk to Yamiko if we want to. If she's close enough to go up a bit. Let's check the social link. Okay, both of them are at the same time. All three of them are the same way. We're almost done with Namco. She's on seven. 